All right, in order to paint your wind chime, what you're going to want to do is you want to take your desk and first of all, cover it with newspaper, okay, so that you don't get paint everywhere. Uh, you don't need this much paint unless you have big chimes, uh, which I do. I've got these tubular chimes that I'm going to paint today. Um, and then the other thing you're going to need so you have something to set your wet chimes on that's not going to stick is you'll need some wax paper, which should be up on the uh, center table by the paint. So you just take off a piece about this big, you don't need a whole lot, and then put it down also. Okay, so our goal here is to not make a mess. So I'm going to set this off to the side, the wax paper, and I'm going to begin to paint my first chime. So when you're painting your chimes, you want to um, think about, do you want it all painted, just part of it painted, you can paint a design on there, it's totally up to you. You want to make sure that you clean your brush out in your bucket and then dry it off. And then all you do is just very simply just paint on the chime. You don't have to have the paint very thick um, because you can let it dry. It will dry by the next class and then you could paint them again. Um, I do have a glitter glaze that you could put over top of them. It's not like a glaze like whenever we did in the, in the kiln. It's just an extra kind of sealant. Um, gives it another dimension, makes it a little shinier after it's been painted. Now this is acrylic paint so it is permanent so you want to be careful not to get it on your clothes but you just brush over it. If you get it on your hands um, it'll wash off eventually it just might not like right there uh, it just might not right away. <clears throat> When you're painting, you want to make sure if you did a design in the clay that you get down in all those cracks. So you notice that I'm loading up my brush frequently to be able to paint this because I want to get a good coat on. If you paint where you're planning on stringing it at, you want to make sure that you take something and make sure that the hole is still opened up because you can paint the hole shut, which is not what we want. So once I get this painted here up around the top, I'm going to take something like this paper clip here and all I'm going to do is just put that through there so that I can still make sure I can still get my my piece through there. Oh, I missed a spot. Okay, make sure you don't miss any spots. And then once this is done, you can set it off to the side and move on to your next one. Let it dry. The next day when you come in, if you think it needs a second coat, you can give it a second coat. Um, if you want to add the glitter glaze on it or the glitter paint on it, you can. Um, <clears throat> it'll give it another dimension, makes it look really nice. Otherwise, you could, uh, when you're done, you'll clean up. Make sure you take this to the sink and clean it out using a sponge. Okay, get it nice and clean. And then also take your brush and clean it out really well with soap. And then place it back up in the cup, bristle side up, so like this in a cup, not this way down. Okay? What you'll do to store your projects when you're done, you'll take your piece of wax paper, okay, set it in your cupboard there, and then you set your pieces on top. It might take you a couple trips, but it is well worth it.